Raggedy Ann and Andy on the Farm, a Telltale Book by Eileen Daly and illustrated by June Goldsboro. The Raggedies and I never gathered new laid eggs before, Marcella told her cousin Eric. It's such fun being on your farm. There are so many different things to see and do. After we take these eggs into the kitchen, said Eric, I'll show you the scarecrow my dad and I made. On their way to the kitchen, they stopped at the barn to visit the soft, woolly twin lambs. The lambs were with their mother in their own little pen. Marcella helped the raggedies sit on the rail so they could see better. Then they played for a while with three black kittens who all wore white bibs just like their mother. They saw a family of rabbits and shared a juicy red apple with them. After leaving the eggs in the kitchen, they walked past a field where a pretty newborn calf stood close to its mother. A frisky colt raced along the fence beside them. As they opened the gate to the cornfield, Eric said, there's our scarecrow flapping in the wind. They went still closer, being careful not to step on the growing new corn. Eric introduced his visitors. Mr. Scarecrow, he said, I'd like you to meet Marcella and Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Marcella held Raggedy Ann and Andy forward so they could shake hands with the Scarecrow. Then Eric said, Let's leave the Raggedies with Mr. Scarecrow and we'll go wading in the little stream that runs through the cow pasture. You'd like that, Raggedies, wouldn't you? Marcella asked them as she settled them comfortably. The minute the children were out of sight, Raggedy Andy stood up. The Scarecrow watched him. It must be nice to walk around, he said. Oh, can't you walk around, Mr. Scarecrow? Raggedy Ann asked. Well, I can't leave here. Besides, I have a very important job to do, scaring away the crows that eat the corn. But I can exercise when no one is looking, like this. The Scarecrow touched his right toe with his left hand. The Scarecrow was showing them his favorite windmill exercise when Raggedy Ann shrieked, Andy, look at what's coming! Andy turned and saw a big cow trampling the new corn and coming straight toward them. Ooh, moaned the scarecrow. Cows are not good for corn or for scarecrows either. We must get her out of here and fast. How? cried Andy. I, I don't, the scarecrow began. Then he exclaimed, pointing to the next field, Alfalfa! If you can get some, Andy, you can lead her back to her pasture with it. Andy dashed toward the alfalfa. Raggedy Ann watched. He'll never get back in time, she cried, unless I can do something to help him. Raggedy Ann ran toward the cow, then right on past her. She moved so fast that the cow stopped and turned her head to see what had happened. As the cow stood, puzzled, Raggedy Ann ran past her again and again. Just as Raggedy Ann was getting too tired to run any further, Raggedy Andy ran up with an armful of alfalfa so huge that he could hardly see where he was going. He dropped a delicious mouthful right under the cow's nose. Then he dropped more a little further away. Raggedy Ann helped him. Soon they had made a tasty trail that led right between the gate posts and into the cow pasture. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy were just closing the gate when they heard the children's voices. Quick, Andy whispered, back to where they left us. They scurried between the rows of corn and were just slipping into their places near the scarecrow when they heard Eric say, 
I guess we did remember to close the gate after all. Marcella ran and picked up Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Hi, Raggedies, she said. Did you get tired of sitting here just waiting and waiting? The Raggedies didn't answer, but as they left the cornfield, Ann and Andy winked at the Scarecrow, and the Scarecrow winked back. The End Thanks for listening, guys.